Hi, my name is David Foster. I'm the Principal BI Consultant here at K3 Panacea. Today I'm going to show you how to link elements in Business Objects 3.1 and this is a really useful tool for um, interacting with reports, um, drilling across from one element to another. Right, let's just show you what we're talking about here. So here we have a three element report We've got a pie chart showing a very high level view of sales revenue by state, a lower level table showing you um, sales revenue quantity by city, and a bar chart showing you lines. Now, what we've got is the ability now to be able to drill into Texas, for example. So I just clicked on Texas, and there we have the table table and the bar chart reacting to that selection. You can see over on here you can see we've got an input control now controlling which state we're in. It's also controlling the city. So we're able to drill right down and look at the, the sales revenue by lines in Austin, Texas. Just clear that now. We're looking at the whole of Texas. If we clear that, we're back to looking at the whole data set. Okay, and we can just look down into California. And then we could specifically look into something like San Francisco. Okay, so that's the effect we're looking for. Um, it's fairly easy to set up. In this um, demo I'm going to show you how to build one, build this. So if we just have a very quick look at the query in the background, very simple. We've got all of the elements we need, plus a few extras I brought in just in case, and constrain it just to a single year. Okay, go back to the report so we want to just insert a new report. Okay. Switch over to properties for purposes of this. We don't want to see a header or a footer. Alright, first things first, let's get the pie chart in place. So we just want a basic pie chart. Go to the data tab. So we want the state as our dimension. and sales revenue as our measure. Okay, switch over to the properties tab. Always good practice to change the name, so let's just call this uh, pie chart state rev. Okay, uh, dun, 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 dun. anything else? Turn legend off personal aesthetics. Let's just turn that border off. And then I like some labels. And just shrink those down a little bit. Okay, so if we now View the structure. There we go. Okay, so there we have our pie chart. Just expand that a little bit so we can see it. Next thing to do, bring in the table. And we want then the revenue and the quantity. And let's just apply some totaling there. 
Okay, that's the basics of that. And the last piece was a bar chart down the bottom here. So again, it'll switch over into structure mode. And at this point, we want sales revenue as our measure and the lines as our dimension here. Good. Okay, let's just. Stretch that out over here and over here. Move it up just a touch. Okay. Forgot to do the properties on the table. We'll go back and do that in a minute. So, of our lines rev. Now, get rid of that 3D effect. And get rid of those borders. Yeah, good. Hop back to the table. City ref. Okay, so if we burn out, look at the results. We shall see that we have a pie chart, the table, and the bar chart with our full set results. Now, at the moment, nothing's interactive beyond the normal basic webby interactions. So, first thing to do is get everything reacting to the pie chart. So you select the pie chart, make sure you're not selecting any of the components inside, you just want this nice border around it. Right click within, define as input control. This is the clever bit. So. If you've got multi -dim multiple dimensions in an object, it'll either say you can select all of them, so it just um, will treat all of them as a, as a compound filter, or you can pick a single object. In this case, we've only got one dimension, the state, so we're happy to leave it as it is. We can type, type block as input control, good. Label pie chart state revenue, you can change that to be something more aesthetic if you want. Operator, in this case it's a dimension, we could change that, but a pie chart you can only select one. So, alright, this is the crucial bit, this is where you must pick basically a target who's going to be impacted by your selection. So, in this case, we want both the city tab, uh, the table, and block one. Did I not save the, uh, the, uh, the title? Well, we'll go and check in a minute. So, finish there. Let's just go and deal with that name. No, it didn't. So, bar line rev. Good. Okay, sorry. So just quickly going back. Now you can see the definer's input control has worked. So, you can see the moment I hover over, it shows you which blocks will be impacted. So, if I click on Texas, this has shrunk down, this has filtered itself to Texas only. Likewise, this has filtered itself down to Texas only. Good. Okay, next level is to apply the second input control. So, crucial here again is that you're selecting the block, the, ta the, out the outside of the table only, not input rows. If you're on the input rows and you right click, you'll see something that's close but not quite. This is new input control, not define as input control. You always want to see define as input control. So here we go, right click, define as input control. Again, we have one dimension in this table, so there we go, we can use all objects. And this time, it's just bar, line rev, the bar chart that we're interested in impacting. So, that's done. So now, we see, if you hover over here, you can see that it's going to impact this table. So if we just focus on Houston, you can see the numbers change to Houston. If you want to see what's going on, there are two input controls on the input control tab that show you the filters involved. Various charts will import different filters, 
but this gives you a taster of what you can do and I mean, you can employ many blocks typically three um, is as far as you want to go but I a classic one that will to watch out for is you notice the city Houston filter is still applied if I now go and select California I have a contradictory filter and that means that this bottom section has now lost it's basically empty there are no, there is no data where state is California and city is Houston so it's generally a good idea to as you go back up clear the filters okay so that's how to do element linking I've shown you how to introduce a pie chart a table and link on a chart and a table to influence other elements on the table. That's the end of the demo. Thank you for watching. Again, um, look out for more um, web demos as they appear. Great. Thanks very much. Bye.